All of us go through trials and heartaches and sorrows in our life. But I'm glad that the Bible says that we've been made to endure for another. Don't come to Amen. Amen. Maybe this song will be an encouragement to those of you who are going through a hard time. There's a star in the darkest night just to give a little light. It will guide us through the night when hope is gone. Soon the darkness fades away and there
And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. The angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, you shall find the babe wrapped in swallowing clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the heavenly host a multitude of women, was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward man. Hebrews chapter number 4. Help me tonight, please. Verse number 14, Hebrews chapter number 4. When you find your place, say amen. amen. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated. I appreciate you for standing in reverence to the Word of God. And, and uh, I, I heard a man make a statement the other day, and, and uh, I, it's just been a rolling over in my spirit and in my in my mind ever since. And, and uh, I want to I want to preach if the Lord will hit me just a few minutes, Amen. On why a baby, Amen. Now you think about it, and uh, I'm just going to try to preach simple to you a few minutes, and and I'll try we just go to the house, but Amen. We're coming up on Christmas season, and and uh, everybody everybody gets wrapped up, and uh, Amen. It's shopping and Christmas. Christmas shopping and decorating and Christmas trees and amen. I'm afraid we really lost the meaning. Uh, amen. Yeah. The real true meaning of yeah, Christmas. Come on. Amen. To get together and see all the kids have fun and do all of that. And by the way, uh, that is not what Christmas is all about to right. me. Amen. Christmas is about, amen, something happening. Amen. That let uh, people have an opportunity. Bless his holy name. It was, it was Christmas for the evening. 
my baby tonight, but I don't want to wake it up or scare it or hurt it. <laughs> Amen. I want you to think about something. I ain't going to be before you long. Why a baby, Brother Joe? Wrapped in swaddling clothes. What is swaddling clothes? That's what they used in the manger. To wipe, the, wipe them sheep. Amen. Amen. Them sheep, the studies that I've done was the sheep that was for the priest that didn't want to get no scars or anything. As soon as they were born, they'd put them rags down on the ground. They didn't want that baby lamb to get any scars or any skin places. So they'd take them rags and they'd wipe that afterbirth off of them. They'd kind of call them swaddling clothes. Just throw them over in a corner.
continually. Every time I speak to Jeremiah, I say, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Jeremiah. I don't, I don't just talk and never say his name. Do we what not knowing who he is? So I guarantee you, Peggy, Mary was rocking him and saying, Jesus, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Say that, Dad. Say that, Dad. <laughs> Happy to stay in my life. And my boy said, Dad, Dad. Yeah. He had to learn to talk. He didn't want born into this world knowing how to talk. Amen. He was a baby. Right. Amen. He could have yep. spoke every language in the world, but he wanted to know what it felt like. Amen. To learn because it wasn't going to be long, Brother Daniel, until over there, amen, the waves was going to be a rolling. And they said, hey, do you not care? I'm every parish. I'm a going down. Amen. But Mary taught him how to speak. And coming out on the bow of that ship, he said, peace be yeah. still. I heard Willard talk about his boy Tony learning how to ski. Said the first time he pulled a rope, he got up, went all the way down the lake. When he came back, he's on one ski. We didn't want to talk to him. <laughs> Y'all heard my story about my ski. What's the first thing a baby does when they take their first step? They fall. They fall. With Greg, I believe Jesus. When he finally got to work and say, Look, Johnny, this is simple, I know, but y'all just. Amen. When he finally got to work and stand, Joe. He said, Now, I believe Mary got back and said, Come to mom. Yeah. Come to mom. Why, well, yeah. I believe he took one step to his head. You know why? Because he wanted to know what it felt like to fall. Yeah. Do you know what? <laughs> He wandered around on the floor. Come right back up. Oh, hallelujah. Have you any years ever made a mistake? Have you oh, any years ever yeah. touched the same? Lord, I was doing so good. And all of a sudden I just fell. Guess what? Jesus knows what it feels like. So 
Amen. He went from learning to put his sentences together. To sitting on the mountain saying, Blessed are the meek. To say, Come unto me. He went from learning to walk. To going down the sea coast. And John said, Behold the Lamb of God. Take it away the sins of the world. And on that last day, he went into heaven on the cloud. Oh, bless his name. When he did that, those men in white apparel said, Well, I stand to your guest. This same Jesus. The one that you've seen since he was this big until now. The one that you see going away. He's going to return. Amen. In like manner. You see, he flew away. And ain't going to be many days. So I'm going to fly away. <laughs> Hallelujah. Whether the cloud comes and takes us all together, or I go by the way of the grave. When I leave this old world, hallelujah, I'm because of the path that Jesus made. And by being here on this earth for 33 and a half years and get back up on Easter Sunday morning and went back to heaven and prepared me a mansion because of what he did, now I can have eternal life. Yeah. Not because of me, Thank but you, because Lord. of him. I'm glad he comes to me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 I've been around you enough to know visitors here. I went around most of you enough to know the storms that's in your life. And if I could just walk in your life and change it, I would. Well, Johnny, if I could just, if I could just get in your heart and fix it all, make everything perfect, I would. I can't. I can't take a heart that's broken and beat it over again, but I Oh, Amen. Oh, Lord, I can't help you. I can pray. You ever, you ever ask a million people to pray for you and it seems like nothing ever changed? I have. Amen. They tried, but they really couldn't. They couldn't reach in my life. I wished it around. But I know a man who did. And I know a man who has. And I know a man who will. If you're here tonight, in your mind, me and Brother John just talked some this week. There's a whole lot of things in my life. When you tell me to do a lot of things, but whenever it comes your turn, and you ask and it don't happen, then we're real bad to get the Bible out and say, You said now. But just keep walking. Amen. You know why he got weary and said, I'm on the way? Because he knows you would. Weary with his journey. Sitting down on the well. You ever got weary with your journey? Amen. Well, I have. But when you're weary with your journey, God will send you somebody to let you know. Keep Amen. on. Keep on. Amen. If you're here tonight, why we all stand? You say, preacher, I'll be honest. My cup is so empty. There's things going on in my life. I really need somebody that knows. What's going on? Hey, if I had to have heart surgery, Sister Mary Ellen was fixing to have a procedure. She went today and sat down with three surgeons. Now, if y'all, you're going to probe around inside of me. I want to know I can trust you. Amen. 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 There's only one specialist in everything you go to. Amen. He ain't got to have a team of doctors. He's all by himself. Amen. He just says, come, this you and me. Amen. You're here tonight and you got situations at home, situations at work, situations in your own life. You say, God, I just want to talk personally to you. Some of you need answers. He's got them. And I don't know why he doesn't give them to you. But you can talk to him. Because you see, he comes a baby. He went through everything that a man could go through. Every temptation that died without sin. Just come and say, Lord, would you please just help me with this question? Help me with this storm. Help me with this trouble. If you need to pray tonight, these altars are open.